Hi, hi, hello, and welcome back, everybody, to Soccer Dungeon. Last time, we were about to fight the nine-tailed fox boss. I'm pretty sure she's the boss of this floor. But, uh, yes, let us go challenge her. Oh, you're back, says the nine-tailed fox. You may have gotten away last time, but don't think you get lucky twice. You're damn right I'm not going to get lucky twice, because I'm not running this time. Let's see here. Start with something like A. Ooh, stripped already. Unfortunate for you. Hold. Okay. Uh, crap. Dodge that. True strike. Nothing but guarding because you're cursed. Smashing the boat. This is quite annoying with how much she dodges and how little we get to attack. <coughs> it's quite, quite annoying. see well fucking hell she is uh pretty damn strong pretty strong huh well then uh here let's try this well 35 that is four levels up on us screw it we'll give it one more try This fight. Nope. Of course not. You and your mana drain bullshit. God dang it. Fucking. Come on, can I not fucking hit this bitch? Like, seriously, apparently I can't hit this bitch for shit. Christ, it doesn't help that she heals so goddamn much, too. Fuck this bitch. Suck my fucking cock. You fucking quit. Piss the fuck off, bitch. With your bullshit. Jesus. Fucking annoying as fuck. Yeah. <sighs> 
Fuck it, we're going this way. Let's see what's over here. take my first steps on the stairs and I immediately feel it. Something in is re reverberating off the walls. There is something powerful trapped down here, says Yomi. Eh? Says Siri. How do, can you tell that? The very stone strain itself to contain something. You can feel it in the walls, Yomi says. I brush my fingers against the cold stone. I swear that it quivers slightly. I swear that I see it quiver slightly. We're going to be facing something unpleasant on the next floor, says Yomi. We will be able to do it. Don't worry, says Siri. Everyone else nods in agreement. I am most disappointed by the lack of bamboo in our rations, says the panda girl. But it's been fun working for you so far. You led us with wisdom and kindness, says the monk. If you were to be defeated, then things would truly be dire for this dungeon inhabitants. So I will not let that happen. You should not worry, says Sylv. I am here now. You aren't going to leave me behind again. I wouldn't dream of it, Sylv, Yomi says, gently patting her on the head. Yes, says Sylv. We'll make it together. We'll all make it together. Words hard. Alright, what event? <clears throat> now this is starting to look familiar, says Yomi. This was my old throne room, she says. Does that mean we're close to the end? asks Siri. Somehow, I don't think so, says Yomi. Although there is a powerful presence on this floor, I feel something stirring further beneath, further below in the depths. So much for putting an end to this, says Siri. She pulls out her sword and examines it. I wonder how many I've cut down on the way here, says Siri. This blade is definitely starting to look worn. Siri looks tired. I'm not even sure how much time has passed, says Siri. We've been down here so long that I'm not even sure what day it is. Come on, Siri, says Yomi. Don't give up on me yet. I'm fine, says Siri. Really, I am. Just a bit tired. Lazily, the panda girl squints into the darkness ahead. Surely there is time to rest, she says. I, to, excuse me, I'd like to think. I think I'd like to sit down for a while. Pandas can be very lazy creatures. The hardest part of any journey is that moment of weariness, says the monk. When your strength leaves your body and everything seems like too much effort. We may be at the moment, but we cannot afford to. We may be at the moment, but we cannot afford to rest now, says the monk. I've been here for quite some time too, says so. And you're saying you did this for a living? Yes, this is my life, says Siri. Delving in the dark, forgotten places in the hopes of finding my own fortune. I do not envy you, says Sylv. Nice to know that I'm not the only one wary. I'm not the only wary one, says Siri. She sheathes her sword and looks ahead of her. This may sound strange, says Siri. But at this point, I consider you a friend, Fox. A friend, you say, asks Yomi. Not the captor holding you against your will, she asks. Well, Siri says, well, I still disagree with your methods. You're not like any other monster I've met before. There is more humiliating, or there is more humility and kindness in you than most people have, than I have worked with in human cities. I think it's natural to care about others, says Yomi. Especially if they're working with you. Yes, says Siri. It's nice to have a leader who cares about you for a change, Siri says. She grows silent for a moment, looking pensive. Tell me, Yomi, Siri says. When all this is over, will you release me from the spell? She asks. Of course I will, says Yomi. I would re release it right now if you like, says Yomi. Siri shakes her head. No, not yet, says Siri. A knight is not free until their duty is done. In exchange for my life, I had to come with you on this adventure. So, until we reach the end, Siri says. She looks forward with renewed determination. 
Let's cut down whatever comes our way, she says excitedly. All right, everybody. I think I'm going to call it here for this episode. As always, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time for more Soccer Dungeon.